at this time, uh, I got some people I want to introduce. Uh, we got Katie G going to be singing the national anthem. Uh, she's an 16 year old aspiring vocalist. Uh, she's playing the Golden Manhattan School of Music. Um, and she has sung for multiple Mud Run national anthems. Uh, she actually has, uh, she's the lead singer of the band uh, Stars Above the Ocean. They just released their, three, their third single, I'm sorry, You Went Too Far on Facebook. Um, and singing our national anthem, make some noise for her. Her name is Mrs. Katie D. G. Oh, sorry, Katie G. I'm so sorry I messed that up. And I have to introduce right now Mr. Alan Long. I forgot, my apologies. I have to introduce City Councilman, Mr. Alan Long. Almost 10 years ago today, our country was attacked by a faceless enemy. I'm a firefighter in my regular uh, off-duty or on-duty days. Can you hear me now? Closer. There we go. Sorry about that. Besides being a council member, I'm a firefighter for the city of Anaheim, so that day in particular touched me very, very deeply. And tomorrow, 10 years ago today, 343 New York City firefighters lost their lives. And to put that into perspective, here in Southwest Riverside County, every on-duty firefighter from Corona to City of Riverside, over to Marino Valley, south down here to Marietta and Temecula, every single one of those firefighters would have been gone in a matter of minutes. And their relief crews the next day also would have been gone. That's the amount of impact it had on the fire service. So please join with me in remembrance of those courageous first responders and thousands of innocent victims in a moment of silence.